I remember one time mm-hmm. my sons and I, we were, we were at UCLA in the bookstore over there, mm-hmm. and, a, and a friend of mine was there. He was a pastor. Mm-hmm. And so my son was looking at some book, you know, mm-hmm. not, not a Satan book, yeah, but, a but book. something close. Mm-hmm. And so the pastor guy was like, uh, you going to let your son buy that? I said, here's the difference between me and you. I don't need to protect him from ideas. Mm-hmm. And secondly, it's not about me letting him buy something. Mm-hmm. He, he is old enough to make a decision on what he wants to read. Mm-hmm. Whatever he reads, we'll be in conversation about it. Yeah. We don't run from thinking. Yeah. I said, now, with your kids, you hide books from them and hide movies from them and hide TV shows from them. And they'll end up in somebody's courtroom because mm-hmm. they done went crazy and buck wild. And didn't know certain things existed, and now they're obsessed with them. Obsessed with them and can't let it go. Yeah. Like, no, I mean, what's the point of that? Yeah, I agree. And you put people in conversation with, with the world that they live in. Yeah. And teach them how to walk through it, and they'll end up a lot better than you think they will. 